Welcome to AP 2020 Outdoor Shooting Range. Hi right, folks, just out here in the field of dreams. Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, welcome to the western portion of the AP 2020 Outdoor Shooting Range. You know, I discovered this place. <laughs> I actually have been out here shooting on my private range for several years, but I discovered the western portion. Actually, I'm allowed to groundhog hunt on this side of the farm as well. And this is a perfect lane. You know, I'm, I'm kind of encapsulated in this trees. The wind's coming actually out of the south, which is uh, be a full value nine o'clock. However, hopefully the trees will kind of give me uh, some of a quasi shooting tunnel effect. So the name of this video is the ultimate 22 subsonic suppressed shooting video at the AP 2020 outdoor shooting range. I got to thank McGowan Barrel for sending me out. This is their one and nine twist. That's right folks. One and nine twist stainless steel 16 inch barrel for the Ruger 1022 fluted matte finish awesome barrel it's one in nine twist specifically for some of the heavier subsonic loads like the Aguila Super Sniper 60 grain however I'm going to actually be testing six different types of ammo this morning I'm set out at 50 yards we'll go ahead and get shooting here Tacticam is running, so I'm going to shoot five shot groups once again, 50 yards. First up is the Winchester 42 grain Max Subsonic, 1065 feet per second. Folks, this is my favorite ammo right now because of the ballistic gel test. Mushroom perfectly. All right, I'm going to shoot the top left hand target first. Here we go. Okay, we'll just keep on continuing on here. Okay, up next is a CCI Quiet, 710 feet per second. I'm gonna have to hand cycle these. These are definitely pellet gun quiet. <laughs> oh, that's crazy how quiet they are. Okay, next is the, uh, I, I decided to throw this in here. These are the CCI standard which still should be subsonic. Still shooting the left hand target, le uh, far right side. Okay, we'll continue shooting. Next up is the Aguila Super Sniper. This is what this barrel is designed for. See how we do here. I'll be shooting the right hand target, far left side. Boy, you can tell them 60 grainers kick a little bit more, surprisingly. Oh. 
Oh yeah, I'm liking those results. Okay, next up, these are the Aguila Super Calibris. These are only 20 grain. Uh, I think they're like 510 feet per second. I'm definitely going to have to hand cycle these. Right hand target, middle. <laughs> definitely pellet gun quiet. I can even see them flying in the air. Oh man. Yeah, these aren't doing too well. <laughs> Not at 50 yards. <laughs> okay folks lastly I've got the Ely 22 bench rest precision semi-auto see how these shoot this is a one and nine twist barrel mind you right hand target right hand side Right, folks let's see how I did all right folks some interesting results Winchester 42 grain max subsonics CCI quiet CCI standard Aguila 60 grain super sniper I'm very happy with those results this is what the barrel is actually designed for one and nine twist Aguila 20 grain Calibre 510 feet per second and then the Ely semi-auto, man, I'm really happy with that. You know, I've heard I've heard people talk that uh, the one and nine twist will not shoot the higher velocity uh, bullets as well. I think that's just indicative of Ely uh, quality control. I mean, this extreme vertical spread at 50 yards, probably typical of your uh, high velocity spreads. All right, folks, let's go ahead and have some fun. I've got my uh, Caldwell. Popper set out at 50 yards with the Aguila 60 grain sniper subsonics. Here we go. Nice. Before I go any further, one last thing. This is a tandem cross double cross, K-R-O-S-S, -S, and this is a tandem cross triple cross, K-R-O-S-S. -S. These are pretty awesome aftermarket magazines. One thing nice with uh, tandem cross nowadays they, uh, they supply everything now. You know, uh, when they first came out, you used to have to strip your old 1022 mags with the uh, follower, the, uh, the spring, the rotating mechanism. Now, Tandem Cross provides all of that. You gotta love it. But I tell you what, this uh, McGowan barrel, one and nine twist is awesome. You know, I tried shooting these uh, 22 sniper subsonics, 60 grains, and a standard Ruger 1022 1 and 16 inch barrel and they just would not stabilize. They would keyhole at this distance. You know, I'm shooting, uh, that's probably a three quarter inch group at 50 yards. You know, this is going to be an awesome, awesome squirrel and probably close range groundhog hunting rifle. So this Nita with AP 2020 Outdoors, remember, 
support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you. <laughs>